car's absolutely mint badass. I haven't seen this in a while. My mate Luke's Audi 50. It's actually running a Liberty Walk body kit. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all well. We're here at Goodwood again for Players Classic, day two, the Sunday. Previous episode, we showed you loads of track action, saw some awesome, awesome cars, a huge variation. Monster Energy had loads of stuff going on here, lots of drifting, all sorts of shenanigans going on. Today is the Sunday, it's a little bit more chill here on track. Obviously the track is opened up to the public. People can bring their cars and display them all along the track. So follow me and let's take a look. Straight off the bat, I've already seen something you know we love, E36 M3, but this has got to be one of the cleanest ones I've ever seen, man. Oh, look at the state of the engine bay. Well, on AC Schnitzer Type 1s, so 17s, nice chunky tyres. Mate, Estoril Blue, super, super clean example. Lovely. Love this Audi Avant. Super cool. ADV one wheels, three piece splits. Suit the car perfectly, I think. Arch to lip fitment. Very cool. Super clean. Check out this RX7. Loving this. Insane. On BBS LMs. Static. Badass, renowned steering wheel in there, Recaro's, absolute RX-7 goals, man. So cool. Real nice Mark 6 Golf, bagged on airlift, set of Rotiform LSR wheels with some real nice chrome center nuts on there. Sick color. Bit of an oddball car. Jaguar XJS with like stripped out buckets in it. Slammed. Pretty nuts. Back of the lawn here at Place Classic. I'm already seeing some crazy cars. Everything switched around from part one, from yesterday's show. Straight off the bat, insane Mark One Golf. So, so clean. Let's take a look at this thing, man. BBS RSs, full retrim inside. Insane, obviously air suspension. Love it. And then also BMW E36. This car actually came into our workshop recently for an air, air suspension checkup. So I've seen underneath, this car's absolutely mint. I believe it's from Germany, so it's like left-hand drive car. Uh, it's a 328 Sport set of, they look like their Style Fives converted into three-piece. They look similar to a BBS RS. Real nice paint. It's obviously had full retrim. Sits perfectly. I think it's got slightly custom arches on the rear, but yeah, sits, sits beautiful, this car. Love it. Real nice E36. I haven't seen this in a while. My mate Luke's Audi 50, super rare car because you normally get the Volkswagen Polo alternative, but super cool to see an Audi 50. He's now like laid it out on air suspension, running a set of BBS RMs. It's like factory paint, so there's like patina going on on the roof. He's done retrim. Yeah, real nice little car, man. What do you guys think of this thing? Love it. Do 
you get a new little wagon for shows, a little Honda Acti. Seriously cool, isn't it? I'd like to slam it on the floor on airlift. <laughs> Imagine it on the floor, though. Imagine that. Oh, there. Really cool little truck. It's a mint as well. Look at the little pea shooter. Love it. Close to my heart, BMW E38. This belongs to a guy called Mario. Really nice example, black on black. But love the ACS Type 2 wheels on this thing. It's static as well, so he's running big tyres on it. So probably super comfortable to drive. Yeah, E38 goals. Love a black E38. Spotted Vicious E36 Touring, not seen the car out since, well, a couple years really. Love this thing, full custom car, insane. Three piece Rotiform wheels, so 17s, used to be on Raj's E30 M3 actually. Real nice to see, they're still going strong. They look amazing on Vicious Touring, I think. Really, really different to what you'd normally see on an E36, but works really well. Interior, check out that interior. Insane Recaros, or oh, everything has been trimmed everything dash looks like he's got alcantara roof panels he's got car audio in here so he's got all the sun speakers and tweeters going on here he's obviously running airlift performance he's still on v2 vish hit us up you need to upgrade to 3p man but yeah airlift performance real nice clean bay and yeah this car again runs custom rear arches to get it sitting so low so perfectly check that out sits perfect Vish is a painter, panel beater by trade, so you can always tell, can't you, when someone's gone that extra mile with their car. Awesome car. How's this for eye-catching? Mercedes A45 AMG. Loving the Rotiform OZRs on this, but especially what they've done with the aero discs. Check it out, Rotiform aero disc. Looks real nice. Complements the car perfectly, I think. Yeah, so I've seen this one at a few shows now and I absolutely love it. Not a Renault fan, but this Renault Clio looks absolutely insane. Laid out on Airlift Performance. Love the colour, not sure if it's paint or a wrap, but love the colour of this thing. It's down on a set of Rotiform OZRs. It just looks sick, it's just done so nice. You wouldn't expect a Clio to look this good. Obviously it's got the Renault Sport yellow theme going on, which is typical of the old school Renault Clios and racing cars. I spy the Airlift Performance Controller. Sick. And then in the boot, it's got a real nice little air install going on with some hard lines. Dub, uh, dual tanks and a bit of a half cage going on. Very cool car. Loving this stunning Mark 1 Golf. Clearly down on LA Performance. Set of BBS RMs. It's obviously had paint. Looks like a full resto car. Loving the interior. Oh, check this out. Check out the booster seat. He's trimmed the booster seat to match the rest of the interior. That's very cool. Yeah, it's by the LA Performance controller down there. Real nice, gnarly steering wheel. Let's check out the bay, shall we? Ooh, shaved bay, ABF. Real, real nice. So, so cool. It's absolutely slammed, man, this thing. On uh, banded steels in white. Real nice look. I love the Momo steering wheel inside as well. A little period touch. This thing's badass. Let me know what you guys think of this. Check it. Ben's spin WE12 we had back on our stand at UD earlier this year. Love this car. It looks like he switched up the BBSs this time. Loving it still. Absolutely love this car. Check 
check out this insane looking E30 M3. Looks like it's fully track prepped. It looks like it's even got air jacks on it. That's pretty damn cool. Insane, BBS Enlock wheels, race rubber, AP racing brakes. Come check out the engine bay, it's crazy. So yeah, it's like an original S14 engine, obviously got a massive carbon air box in there. The guys at JTEC have just told me that they've basically rebuilt the car. They're trying to get it approved so they can race it in historic racing. So it's like proper period as the car would be in the era, which is super, super cool to see. Should we check out the boot as well? Awesome. Yeah, look at that fuel cell, dude. Insane. Yeah, full cage. It's even got the DTM gear knob on there. So sick. Old school mama steering wheel. Everything, everything is just ready for the track. Just immaculate too. Yeah, check the JTAC guys out. We'll put their tag below. So sick. Gotta love J Max Porsche 964 on aero discs. Super, super cool car. Goes like stink too. This thing is quick. Just spotted TJ's RS42. Awesome set of custom rotor forms. Arch to lip fitment. Very cool car. And then check it. We actually bagged this here at Car Audio Security a few weeks ago. It's Roval's BMW Z4, now down on Edo Performance, a set of Rotoform OZRs. We'll drop a link below for the install video on that car. So it looks super, super sick. Always loved Pat's VW Corrado. It's running Airlift Performance. He's one of the OG players crew guys. Set of real cool Rotoform BLQTs in like a real dark gray. It's got some crazy green calipers going on. The in we can't open the door, but the interior of this car is real nice too. Yeah, super cool Corrado. So sick to see all these cars on Rotoform wheels. Rotoform have a huge presence at Players Classic this year. Always got a sick setup, amazing cars. All the team are here from the States as well, which is pretty cool to catch up with those guys. Yeah, love what they do, love the cars. I've just spotted an E21 I've been following on Instagram for quite a while. I believe it belongs to Benny. Sick E21, full paint. And I love the Rotiform three-piece wheels on this thing. They're real, it's just something real different for an E21. People normally go for BBS or something similar, but yeah, these work really well. Slam Sanctuary sticker, which is what I like to see. Yeah, the retrim in this car is gorgeous. It's like a full brown retrim, leather dash, Wood Momo California steering wheel, absolutely love that. The heavens have finally opened here at Players Classic. We've been so lucky all weekend and just started to rain. Fingers crossed it will just pass by because there's still a few cars I want to check out. Check this out guys, a car I've always loved is Iman's BMW E31 840 CI Sport. Beautiful car, down on airlift, an insane set of stepped BBS RSs with arch to lip fitment, I absolutely love it. Check this thing out, Josh's GX61 Mark II. It is on air suspension to a degree, but he drives it like that, which is absolutely insane. Love the wheels on this thing. Josh's cars are always absolutely slammed. They look sick, and I love this thing. Love the period wheels, the splits. Very cool indeed. Just not something you see. When do you ever see something like this in the UK? Just spotted Halme from Eurocrew in Spain. They run a show in Valencia in Spain. Super cool guys. They've actually driven over from Spain with their Mark I TT. Awesome color uh, on a set of BBS RSs with bubble lips. Loving the fitment on this thing too. Super cool TT.
So let's catch up with the guys at Evolve Automotive slash Ian Turi. Good friends of ours. They've always got an insane lineup of BMWs. Let's take a look. First off the bat, E39 M5 on BBS LMs. Got one of their awesome Eventuri plenums to make that V8 sound absolutely insane. Very cool car. And then yeah, Imran's finally done it. He's bought his childhood dream car, BMW Z8. He's already started modifying it with a set of 660 custom wheels to sort of imitate the original Alpina style wheels that are on this car. So sick, so, so sick. But yeah, these are beautiful cars. What do you guys think of the Z8? It's just a gorgeous thing, really. Guys, inventory products, we absolutely love them. You can buy them on our website on thetuningstore.co.uk. Awesome to see the F80 setup here. Double carbon intake, carbon absolutely everywhere, engine cover. Love inventory. They sound good, they increase the performance of your vehicle, and they look insane too. Continuing with their super rare car collection, Z3M. Very, very cool. It's the coupe. So again, big money, super clean example. Another set of like huge BBS LMs. And it looks like they've got, ooh, they've got their even Turi carbon intake on there. Look at the size of that thing, man. Insane. On the S54, this car did come with S54, same as the E46 M3. But yeah, that, that thing looks insane. I bet it sounds absolutely phenomenal. What do you think of DK Automotive's VW Beetle? It is so clean. All the little details on this thing are insane. I mean, look, a bit of car audio for you. Kenwood Amp. And they've done, they painted the cover to match the interior. That's, well, to match the body color. That's so sick. There's so much to take in. But I think this is what's, where it's going on. Check out that turbo. Jesus. It's insane. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. Had to get one in there. <laughs> Check this thing out. Uh, Nissan Skyline R32, the Pandem kit, RB26 motor. Gorgeous, gorgeous motor. Look at the paintwork in here. Absolutely insane. Finished off on the engine cover. Love this here. So sick. Yeah, blitz wheels. The Pandem kit on these things look absolutely insane. Look at the size of the rear dish. Jesus. Look, fit my whole camera in there. <laughs> Crazy. Check this out. BMW E34 5T5i Sport. Guy makes the trip over, I think, from Northern Ireland uh, every year. Real, real cool car on Workmeister S1 wheels. Something a little bit different for a BMW. Really dig it. So it had full paint. It's actually got a shaved bay showing off the uh, N50 in there. Very, very cool indeed. Oh yeah, lovely car. So another huge build of Players Classic is James Auto Finesse's Nissan S15. Not any S15, but look at this thing, man. It's actually running a Liberty Walk body kit. I've never seen anything like this on an S15. I'm not a Nissan guy, but look at this. It's absolutely insane. Check out how square. It's such a square, like, straight body kit. It's just unlike any other body kit I've ever seen. Loving the three-piece custom rotor forms finished with a teal center to match the rest of the livery. Teal's like a big theme throughout the AF cars. Out Throughout all their fleet, they use teal. And it's, you know, finished perfectly here on the S15 build. Love it. Love the, the rear diffuser. Uh, yeah. Just look at the depth of those wheels. 
insane. Again, running Nankang semi slick hires. So cool. Such a cool build. Okay, so that's about all we've got time for in part two of our Players Classic coverage. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I've seen some awesome cars yet again. Really cool to see the uh, track straight taken over by show cars, exploring the paddocks, exploring the lawn, this huge, amazing selection of cars from all over the UK. We've even seen a few come over from Europe, which is super cool to see, that people want to come to our country, to the UK, to experience our own car culture. As you can see, we've got something for everyone here. The UK really is pretty awesome when it comes to cars. Yeah, just a stunning selection of vehicles. You guys should definitely come down to Goodwood Players Classics next year if you've never been. I guarantee it's a great weekend away. Get an Airbnb, get a hotel, stay for both days. Once again, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. Please hit that subscribe button. It means we can bring you even more events throughout the UK and Europe. Next up on the list is Alt Race in Poland, and I cannot wait. See you there.